On this channel we do like to call out people simply when they do double standards you know we often talk to you don't we about tv channels that run these campaigns like be kind support each other mental health awareness week you know the usual thing that really is important to so many people you know and i genuinely mean that but then of course the people fronted these campaigns tend not to really <laughs> adhere to the mantra of what the ad or promotion is of course once that's finished then you know their money's pocketed and they've moved on this is always the case Case with certain individuals over at ITV, that is Britain's premier commercial channel. Earlier this week, their money expert, Martin Lewis, picked up an award at the National Television Awards for a brand new award category called TV Expert. That's right. <laughs> no. He can often be found offering money saving tips on the channel, you know, mortgages, how to heat your home, all of that sort of stuff. Wonderful uh, advice, of course, and he's made a very successful career out of it. Become a multi millionaire on the back of this, so, you know, hats off to him. Can often be found crying and getting very teary uh, about viewers' stories. It's all very moving, isn't it, you know? But then, of course, you have a similar situation on another uh, show on that channel. Remember, a couple of months back now over on this morning you remember this well as you know Holly and Phil had problems uh, waiting 12 hours to queue you know took Philip Schofield 28 years to come out but couldn't possibly wait 12 hours to queue to see our late monarch you get the picture but it was worse than that they decided to offer in their giveaway show the chance to pay someone's energy bills for a couple of months again from two multi-millionaires. So on the same show, another presenter, Alison Hammond, who was discussing bank fraud, openly admitted that she hadn't missed 10,000 pounds being removed from her bank account. Really connectable, really relatable, I'm sure you'll agree. Strange things going on over at ITV, but this truly does take the biscuit, as they say, because their morning show presenter, the lovable, according to her, sometimes actress, according to her, Lorraine Kelly, who had that spat with the British taxman where she claimed of course that she wasn't a real person she was in fact playing a role of Lorraine Kelly this helped remove around about allegedly a million pounds worth of tax all very moving this week though even though she'd headed the be kind campaign and it's good to talk to others she decided to attack a pop icon that's right the superstar Madonna who would posted a viral video on her social media pages and according to Lorraine Kelly Madonna looked like like a boiled egg. Now they're in the same age bracket, you know, so you would have thought that certain sisters of the storm, as it were, might have had a little bit of empathy. Seemingly not. Now this has caused a huge backlash from naturally Madonna's fans. And Madonna, you know, whichever way you look at it, has really carved a successful career out for herself. Obviously struggles with the aging process, but that's her individual needs. You know, really, should a woman of a certain age, the same age bracket, be so cruel, particularly across the world's media? But as I say, this is from the Caring Sharing channel, that is ITV. And interesting to note, of course, that the CEO recently backed up those queuing claims about the disgraced presenters, Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. Which either way you look at it, as we often say here on the show, it is simply one rule for multimillionaires and one rule for you and I. But what I do say to you all is genuinely, try and be kind. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.